Troga, the electrified yoga workout. So just like you would do in any group class, whether it's kickboxing, spin, or old school aerobics, they always have you start out with a warm up. Even if you're lifting weights, you tend to spend about five minutes on that cardio machine before you start hitting the gym weights and doing all of your work. Well, the same thing applies to yoga. We need to make sure that our muscles are nice and warmed up, that our joints are lubricated before we start getting into holding poses and stretching. So one of the best, best, best sequences to do for that is Sun Salutation A. Sun Salutation A helps to warm up your shoulders, your arms, your core, your legs, and even your toes. So I have my friend Amanda joining in on the fun. And hop to the front of your mat. So we're gonna start in Tadasana Mountain Pose. You just wanna bring your feet together, your big toes touching, and we wanna start activating our legs, just warming up our thigh muscles and our hamstrings. So you wanna lift your toes up off of the floor and spread them apart as wide as you can, and then start placing them down, starting with the pinky toe, all the way to your big toe. You look down at your feet, they kinda of look like platypus feet, that's great, it's gonna give you a lot of traction on your mat. Then imagine that you have a golf ball and you're rolling that up your shins. As you do that, you're hugging your outer calves in and you feel the arches of your feet lift. Next, we wanna activate our quadriceps. So lift your kneecaps. As you lift your kneecaps, your muscles become nice and strong. Then you wanna take your tailbone down towards the mat. As you pull your navel up in towards your spine. So we're nice and solid and strong all the way through our legs and our core. You just reach through your fingertips. And then draw your shoulder blades back by using those little tiny muscles between your shoulder blades and then soften your low ribs back down. And then reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. So this is Tadasana Mountain Pose. Who thought that standing would be so much work? In our next pose, we'll just turn your palms to face the sky. Inhale, slowly reach your arms overhead, keeping your legs nice and strong, softening your low ribs in. Is your tailbone still reaching down to the floor? Is your core engaged? And on your next exhale, we're just gonna fold forward, nice and slow. You wanna keep lifting your kneecaps. So lift your kneecaps, keep your quadriceps engaged. Let the crown of your head reach down towards the floor. You wanna keep using the muscles in your feet and your legs as you fold. Then inhale, bring your fingertips just below your kneecaps and straighten your arms. So flat back here. So in flat back, we roll our shoulders back away from our ears, extend the crown of your head forward, and now pull your navel up in towards your spine and you'll feel your low back release. And then don't forget about using your legs. Kneecaps stay lifted, pressing into your feet. Next exhale, back to that forward fold. Then plant your hands, and we're gonna step back to plank, the top of a push-up. So in plank pose, you wanna reach your heels back towards the back of your mat and then take your tailbone, reach it down towards your heels, navel pulls up in towards your spine. Now while you have your weight moving towards the back of your mat, you wanna pull your heart forward, rolling your shoulders back. So you're being pulled in two different directions here, and then reach the crown of your head forward. And then for this first modification, to come into Chaturanga, we're gonna take knees, chest, and chin. So we'll slowly lower, knees come down, lower your chest down, elbows squeeze by your side, Lower your chin down, and then inhale into cobra. Tops of the feet press into the mat. Really get that pinky toe side of the foot all the way down. Relax your butt cheeks and spin your inner thighs up towards the sky. Elbows squeeze by your lower ribs. Shoulders roll back away from your ears, and then the crown of your head reaches forward as you drag yourself off of the mat. And then slowly lower down. Tuck your toes and make your way back to down dog. Then we'll hold down dog for about three breaths. You want to press into the heels of your hand. Outer upper arms rotate away from your ears, spinning down towards the mat. Tailbone reaching up. Soften your low ribs in. Reach your heels down towards the floor. Then your inhale, you look forward. Right foot comes forward. Then the left foot comes forward. We inhale into that flat back again. Exhale, fold. Then stand firm in your legs and your feet, lift your kneecaps, your inhale brings you all the way up, back to standing, and exhale, hands to your heart. 
Great, so now we're gonna move through each of those poses with one breath per movement. And then the next modification we're gonna take for Chaturanga, that half of a push-up, will be on our knees. And the third one that we do will be a full version of Chaturanga where it goes a full push-up. So just make sure that you're doing whichever one works for your body and just go from there and have fun with it, okay? So four more rounds, one movement for each breath. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back to the top of a push-up. And here we go, we're gonna modify the second one. So knees come down, heart pulls forward, navel pulls in towards your spine, and lower halfway down. Inhale into Cobra, activate the legs. Take it back to Down Dog on the exhale. And there's a few different ways that you can go back to Down Dog. Amanda, if you would stay there for me, you can either come onto your hands and knees and come back to Down Dog, or you can go through half of a push-up where you just lift your kneecaps, shoulders pull back, engage your belly, come up halfway, come back to plank, and back to down dog. Just doing whichever option you'd like to do. Inhale, look forward. Left foot comes forward. And then the right foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Keep those legs nice and strong. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back to plank. And then the full version of Chaturanga, you wanna just take your weight forward. Then slowly bend your elbows 90 degrees by your side, squeeze them in, and then inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, back to down dog. Again, three deep inhales and exhales here. Keep pressing the floor away from you with your hands. Drive your calves all the way down towards your heels. Maybe even lift your toes up off of the mat. Just warming up your legs. Then we inhale, look forward. Bring your right foot forward. Then your left foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly coming all the way up. Activate your legs. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands back to plank, top of a push-up, and then take your version of Chaturanga. So half a push-up, and inhale again into Cobra. Exhale, back to Down Dog. Deep inhales and exhales here. Try to relax your jaw. Relax your head. Even press into that meaty part between the thumb and your forefinger to help alleviate some pressure out of your wrist. Continue to wrap your biceps and triceps down towards the mat, towards your ears. Inhale, look forward. Bring the left foot forward, just evening out lunges on each side and the right foot forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep out to the side. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. And one last time. Inhale, bring it up. Pull your navel in towards your spine. Exhale, fold. Are you working your feet here? Inhale, flat back. Lift your kneecaps nice and strong. Plant your hands. Step it back to plank. And again, lower down halfway. Inhale into Cobra. Really work those legs. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. And exhale, back to Down Dog. And inhale, look forward. Right foot comes forward. Left foot comes up to meet the right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Press into your feet to come all the way up to standing. And exhale.
exhale, hands to your heart. And there you have it. Five rounds of Sun Salutation A. Remember that you can do any of the modifications to get you into Chaturanga, that half of a push-up, as well as modifications to bring you from Cobra all the way back to Down Dog. I highly recommend doing the sequence at least five times before you start your yoga practice just to get your body all nice and warmed up and ready to go. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out some more workout videos and tips and tricks videos at electroga.com. Oh, 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 oh,